We're doing revision, we just did a question that is coming from algebra. We're now moving on to something uh, which is a little bit ahead of that. We are doing a pattern question. Remember, when you're going to doing uh, number patterns, number patterns, guys, we've been doing them since primary school. That is actually how far you've been actually working on this. So the ones that you're going to be dealing with in matric, there's actually three types of patterns that are always in every exam. They will definitely be there. There's a question on an arithmetic pattern, there's a question on a geometric pattern, and there's a question on a quadratic pattern. So yours is just to understand Understand. When I'm looking at a particular pattern, what type of a pattern is this particular pattern? Once you have identified that, you must know how to work out the general term, how to work out the sum, and how to reverse those. If I give you the term, can you find n? If I give you the sum, can you find n? You need to know how to move forward and how to reverse. But above all, you also need to know when we're asking you for sum to infinity for convergence in a geometric pattern, how do you actually work with those kinds of things? So it's very important for you to understand the foundation on these things, and then you can be able to answer these questions. So let's look at the one that we are currently are dealing with, which is from a paper one paper that people dealt with um, last year. So this one says here, there's actually 24 terms of an arithmetic series. So once I see those words, I actually smile because it simplifies my job. I don't have to worry much. I just know that if it's arithmetic, Arithmetic, then it's got a common difference D, which you find by term 2 minus term 1. Very powerful. You can be able to see in the formula sheet, there will be the formulas for sum, as well as the formulas for the general term. Right. So, and then they say here, um, the first 24 terms of an arithmetic series are 35 plus 42, plus 49, plus blah, 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 plus 196. So, and then they're asking us to calculate the sum of all natural numbers. The sum of all natural numbers. So we want to find the sum of all natural numbers from 35 up to 196 that are not divisible by 7. Aha! So now this is a big problem. You want those ones that are not divisible by 7. Now, what you need to understand is this. The analysis on this question is based on the following. The sum of natural terms. Natural terms, guys, start from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to infinity. So we want to focus on the natural terms or the natural numbers from 35 until 196. So that's 35 plus 36 uh, plus 37 plus 38 plus 39. All those numbers are natural numbers. But some of them are divisible by 7. Some of them are not. So we want those that are not divisible by 7. Right. Now, if we think about them, those that are not divisible by 7 do not form a particular nice pattern. So we can't have a formula for working them out. So the nice way of working this question is to say, OK, let's take those ones that are divisible by 7 and add them. Then add all the natural numbers and subtract. The difference between that will be what the examiner is asking us to figure out here. Let's go and see how we can do this. Right. So I want you to understand it and accept that the sum of all those natural numbers is actually a combination of the numbers that are divisible. Those ones that are divisible by 7, right? Those that are divisible by 7 plus the sum of those that are not, those that are not divisible by 7 will just give you the sum of all natural numbers, all the natural numbers that we are working on here. So according to what we've done before in sequences and series, guys, once you know that certain numbers are divisible by a particular number, it means they form a very nice pattern. We can actually be able to work this out and also work this sum out. When we know these two numbers, the difference between them will give us the sum. Um, yeah, actually, I just swapped them there. We don't, these ones are the ones that we are looking for. The examiner is asking you to work out that. So if you know the sum of those that are divisible by 7 and those that are all the numbers in this set, then you can subtract that. You will be able to get the sum of those that are not divisible by 7. So if I may just finish off this formula and say the sum of those that are not is equal to the sum of all natural numbers minus the sum of those that are divisible by 7. Yeah. Yeah, by seven. Okay, cool. I hope you understand what is going on there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Anyway, let's continue. So if you look at the pattern that was given to us, they said from 35 until 196. So I'm going to attempt to work out the sum of all those natural numbers and then subtract them. That will give us the answer of what you're looking for. So these natural numbers are basically, when you're looking at all of them, all these natural numbers, right, from um, 35 all the way up to 196, if we... Uh, basically what they're asking us is they say from 35 all the way until 196. Yes. Okay, cool. So these ones, the sum of all these, let's see what will happen if we do that. Right. The, it's actually 35 plus 36 
plus 37, all of them, all the natural numbers, all the way until we get to 196. I want to add those numbers. Okay, fine. Let's see what will happen if you add them. Now, if you look at this particular pattern, it's a simple pattern that has got um, uh, a difference of 1. So the first term here is actually 35, right? Uh, the common difference here is 1. Um, the last term in this pattern is 196. And the number of terms. Now, this is very interesting. The number of terms in this pattern from 35 to 196, including both of them, it's basically the top number minus the bottom number plus 1. It's actually 196 minus 35 plus 1. I don't know what this is going to be, so you can just simply get your calculator and try to figure out what is 196 minus 35 plus 1. What are you getting? is actually 162. So there's actually 162 of these guys that we need to add. So let's see what will happen if you do that. So I'm going to use uh, a linear pattern summation formula, which is the arithmetic pattern summation formula. Let's see what will happen if you do that. So Sn is n over 2 plus the first term plus the last term. You can also use the other one that uses the common difference. So the number of terms we're adding here is 162 terms. That's basically what you're dealing with here. Divided by what? Divided by 2, guys. Very simple. The first term is 35 and the last term is 196. We're including that. Right. Let's see what this is going to be. Remember to use your calculator if you don't want to make mistakes. A calculator is an instrument, not the monument. Right. 162 divided by um, 2. Right. Uh, fine. Into. Then you've got 35 there plus 196. What does this amount to? It's 18, 7, 11. 18, 7, 11. That's the sum of all the natural numbers. Right. Now we've got the sum of all natural numbers. We're going to now attempt the sum of those divisible. Right. Those that are divisible by 7. And if you look closely, the first one is 35. Right. The next one is 42. And then 49. All the way, including 196 is also divisible uh, by 7. So let's work out what the story is here. And the beautiful thing about what is going on is the examiner was kind enough to tell you that there are actually 24 terms there. There's 24 terms. If they didn't tell you, you would need to use 196 and work um, reverse to work out the um, n value using the formula for the general term. All right, cool. So now, first term here is a, um, which is 35. The common difference is 7. And the last term is 196 as well. So the sum of n terms is n over 2 into 2a. All right, let's take the 1 of a plus d again. You can use that one, the 1 of 2a plus n minus 1d if you want, but I don't want to use that because I want to get to the answer much quicker. So I'll say a plus l. Number of terms we're adding, it's 24 divided by 2 into the first term, which is 35 plus the last term, which is 196. Let's see what will happen if you do the addition of these two very simple um, um, sums that you have here. So yes, we're adding 24 terms, guys. Let's continue and see. So I'm going to call on the machine, the calculator to assist us um, to work out the summation here. Right, so the number of terms we're adding is 24 um, divided by 2. And then in brackets, I'm going to put the first term, which is 35. It's also divisible by 7. Plus the last term, which is 196. The answer comes as 2. Um, double seven two, right? Two, two double seven two, right? Let me just write that so that you guys can be able to see what is going on there, right? Very, very visible. It must be visible. You must see what is going on, right? Two double seven two. I've got the answers for the sum of all the natural numbers, 35, 36, 37, 37, all the way until 1 and 6. And I've got the sum of those that are simply divisible by 7. So when I subtract them, I'll be able to know which one of those are not divisible by 7. All right, cool. So let's have fun and see what will happen if we do that. Okay, cool. Like we said before, um, the sum of those that are not divisible, right, by 7 equals to... Uh, 18711 minus 2772, which will simply amount to something very interesting. What is something very interesting? Right, let's check this out. Okay, cool. It's going to be um, 18, guys, 7011. Very simple stuff. Minus 2772, which when you press the equality sign, you get 15939. 15939. 
939. This is the sum that I'm getting when I work this out. So it's a very beautiful question, nicely aligned. It's a problem solving question. Remember, sometimes we require you guys to analyze the basic stuff that is given in front of you. Everything will not always be simple. About 55% of your exam is on straightforward concepts, but there's about 30% of the paper that is based on complex questions where we combine two branches of math. We want you to think out of the box and see how do you use the basics that you're dealing with to try and work out the solution to a particular problem we are dealing with. It's like this one. It wasn't very straightforward. But if you think about it, right, if you think about it, the sum of those that are divisible plus the sum of those that are not divisible, when you combine them all, they'll make the sum of all the natural numbers between 35 and 196. A very beautiful question indeed.